Impact. The Louisville-based choral group Voces Nove has it. Impact on its concert audiences. Impact on the artistic community. And impact on music educators in the schools. And all the earth, and all the earth shall sing. And all the earth, and all the earth shall sing. And all the earth, and all the earth You're going to feel like you're drawn in, like you're drawn into part of it because it's a very human experience. Uh, Frank Heller's leadership with that, with that ensemble has really uh, nurtured the fact that they care about their audience, they want to include their audience. So I've always, always felt included when I go hear them. What do you like about Voces Nove? The music, yeah. the, uh, the chorus, it's the chorus, it's all about the chorus. You don't get a chorus that big that often all together. And uh, as a member of the audience, to see the work that goes in, it's a, it's, it's a magical moment that's only at one point in time. And what I think really differentiates Voces Nove in one way is the deep dedication of every single member to honestly and authentically and beautifully serving the music itself. Frank is just a fabulous human being and he brings a deep humanity to the music as well. And the first time I went to one of the concerts that was held there, I was immediately drawn to the way that Frank would immerse the listeners into the experience. The uh, concert carefully themed, and uh, rather than just hear selections of music, each piece would be explained on an intelligent level to the listeners. And I think one of Voces' main strengths is they are very connected to the audience because everything is, it goes back to text. I think that's probably why Voces has such a dedicated audience following as well is because they know when they go they will walk away with not only a beautiful musical experience but some really meaningful and rich text and poems and authors to walk away from and look up when they leave the concert because they have found something fulfilling that they needed that can help them in their journey. Collaboration is a key to the community impact of Voces Nove. For instance, collaboration allows Louisville to perform large works. A lot of these undertakings with the Louisville Orchestra call for large forces. And so when Teddy Abrams comes to me, as he did two years ago, and says, I would like to have 300 to 350 singers for Carmina Burana. Well, the first person I called was Frank Heller. Collaboration allows composers, poets, and musicians to create something new together. One way is through the Artist in Residence program. A couple of years ago, a few years ago, actually, I got to be Artist in Residence with Voices Nove, so I got to actually be in every week. So I got to see the whole process of, of seeing the music born, you know, from the initial rehearsals and, and watching it sculpt and everything. Collaboration with school-based music educators helps them to shop for new music usher new generations into lifetimes of singing, and renew their own vocational energies. Well, certainly having groups like Voces Nove is a wonderful place for me to go hear music that I might program with my own students, but also um, go beyond that and hear music that I maybe haven't heard before. So that's wonderful. It's a great place for me to also send students to, to hear a concert I think for me, Voces Nove, um, the beautiful thing is everyone there loves singing so much that it was a good r reminder on Monday evenings after we had been teaching for eight hours a day to students who don't always want to sing. It was a good reminder of why we do what we do because, you know, we sang with doctors and lawyers and um, people who, in all different professions, who just come out on Monday night to do what they love. Collaboration builds the community, as when Frank Heller offered Voces Nove to Louisville's Jewish community through a collaboration with cantor David Lipp. Like for me, it was just like a kind of a dream come true that, oh, I can bring in this, you know, this choir that, a, a few Jews, but basically a non-Jewish choir to do all this incredible Jewish repertoire. And what was nice about it was very symbiotic. I mean, there was, I got, I got a lot out of it because I got to share with my community something they don't get to hear here so much. That quality of sound and that quality of, um, of just education about great Jewish music that they don't always hear, um, and this is really throughout the Jewish community of Louisville, not just my synagogue. And then for Voces, presumably, because this is, I think, what Fra the part of Frank's um, vision, I think, is to expand 
the group's repertoire, not just in terms of music, but in terms of just kind of cultural skill and communal engagement. I mean, he is all about being part of the community. Founded in 1993, Voces Nove's impact comes by attracting singers, audiences, donors, and sponsors, and by collaborating with other artists. Thank you for being, or becoming, part of that fruitfulness. We welcome your help. <laughs>